I have most definitely been transported back to the 80s. Let's have a look what I'm on. Here we are. So what we've got today is the Kajiva Raptor. I've never seen one of these before. Let's have a look round. I'll show you the bike as uh, it stands out a bit with these colours, doesn't it? The previous owner has customised this bike. Obviously a child of the 80s looking at the paint job, but they've... I think they might have mis misspelled Raptor, Raptor on there. Let's have a look around the bike the usual way. Comments please about the paint job. Here is that colourful close up. Yeah, I can't say sexy with this, this colours. These colours just, I mean it's very festive. Christmas is coming and all. But it is just, it's classic 80s, isn't it? Looking at that, I'm sure I had a shell suiting exactly the same colour. It would have been late 80s. Look at the state. Twin Brembo's at the front. Single disc at the back. Leo Vince exhaust systems, SBK. That's not a brand that I know, but you know, you might. The motor does say Kajiva. But I'm reliably informed that Kajiva, when they made these, used Suzuki engines. Now the seat looks like it's going to be quite comfortable. It does feel quite firm, even though it's quite spongy. It feels quite firm. What I'm finding when I'm riding is if I put the brake on, I'm sliding ever so towards the tank. Just a little bit but it's noticeable the twig and giggle berries have been caught out a couple of times you can see the Kajiva Raptor Kajiva Raptor is that an EI spy? I think it might be the aftermarket adjustable levers in red to match this paint job some upside down forks it is just the industry standard, isn't it? Your horn, your indicators, your high-low beam, your pass stroke light flashes around there, and it does have a old-school choke on it as well. And on the right-hand side, again, what you would expect, really, for a bike of this age, you've got your start button and your engine cut off, but unlike the modern bikes, which lights are on automatically, this has got a light switch so you can turn your lights off not that i would recommend it because you want to be seen don't you so then let's have a look at the screen which i think is quite modern for a bike of this age because what we've got is a digital speedo we've got a digital uh, total miles so this has done just over sixteen thousand, and then we've got your rev meter right there you like the exhausts on both sides sounds like an absolute beast as well seating position you are leant forward just a touch but the big thing for me and getting used to is ugh, the pegs are quite high so you do feel uh, a little bit scrunched up here it takes a while to get used to now i've been on this bike for a couple of miles so i've got used to it but initially because it's not the type or style of bike i'd normally ride day to day it just took me a while to get used to it but i did feel a bit scrunched at first but after a couple of miles i got used to it as always for me i'm not gonna blow your minds with all facts and figures i'll always put those facts and figures on at the end so don't worry if you want to know full specs i'll put it all at the end the striking feature for me is this paint job it really stands out and it is proper 80s for me all paint scheme and everything just just looks like a bike of that era but it does ride really nicely so make sure you join me for the test ride so you can see if you're interested in clothing some people are 
I've got kitted out today with me Oxford gear. I'll put a link in the description and I've got Oxford gloves as well so you'll see when I'm riding but I really do like the gloves as well. This jacket, brilliant, keeping me warm. That's going to do us for the walk round. Let's go and get some riding done. You can see exactly what the bike's like on the move. If you're interested in this bike, it's up for sale with Into Moto in Warrington, which is in Cheshire. If you're not a local, link in the description for this bike or if you're just after a new bike because the guys there are brilliant. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button and come back for more. Let's go. If you like loud exhaust, you'll love this thing. The slightest of touches to the throttle and you feel like the bike wants to take off with you. So it's, you've just got to be really, really gentle with it. Otherwise, I'll be wheeling down this road. 23 year old bike and it still goes through the gears really really well I've got no complaints with it at all foot gear change is nice and light doesn't feel kind of loose and flimsy it feels quite substantial I'm gonna do some sneaky sneaky There's my morning sneaky sneaky fix and there's nothing fancy to speak of about this bike it is just a beastly big engine with a beastly exhaust and quite basic but still a lot of fun and I'm on nationals and I'm stuck behind a learner and a row of traffic and I'm not going to be silly and overtake because the roads are a bit greasy like I've said and there's leaves everywhere if it was the middle of summer though, I'd be having them. This has got loads of what I'd describe as like age related marks to it. It's not got any damage to speak of. You know, there's no dents or anything like that. It doesn't appear as though it's got any damage from being dropped or anything. Scuffs here and there. I've got used to the finer things in life now. I like a plush seat. I think it's called getting old. as I can't yeah do you know what I, I do like now to do a bit of a slow maneuver test on bikes when I take them out because going fast is easy on a bike I find because you don't feel the weight when you're going quite quickly do you the weight just kind of disappears it's when you're going slow when you've got to maneuver around housing estates parked cars etc and um, yeah this does it really really well can't argue with it for an old bike when you ride an older bike they do have like a distinctive smell just reminds me of my first bike my Jixa 600 that I had just as that smell of petrol and oil and it's a smell I remember fondly the new bikes just don't capture it, I don't think. Every time you move that throttle, it, it's, a, it's just like an orchestra of trumpets behind you. In fact, I've never heard a trumpet sound as good. Speed, not an issue for this bike. If you're looking for a quick bike to fool around on, this bike ticks that box all day long now price price wise it's a, an older bike so it's around that price where i think the price potentially could start going up because there won't be a lot of bikes like this left because well they are full of power aren't they so i'm sure there's one or two people that have got themselves into trouble on them and those bikes sadly don't make it and they disappear don't they and they're not making any more of these so i think you're kind of at that price where you're not actually or you shouldn't lose out if you look after it it'll be a bike that repays you i think of course you can never tell what the market's going to do but when you look at some bikes the especially bikes like this now you look at old bikes that 
you'd have picked up for five or six hundred pound going back 20 years ago those bikes are costing thousands and thousands now because they're just the rare aren't they and this is going to be one of those bikes so price wise not bad could be an investment comfort it's all right you know i've got used to it i think when i first got on i found that the pegs were a little bit higher than what i'm used to so i did feel a little bit scrunched up but the longer i've been in the saddle the more i've got used to that and it's not actually that bad i've actually got used to it so it's not it's not uncomfortable now the seat itself when you put your fingers on it it looks like it's proper plush but when you sat on it it does feel quite firm and what i have noticed it's certainly under braking is that you do slide forward just a touch so your twig and giggleberries are very much pressed upon the tank but i find that with a lot of sports bikes as well so that's not unique to this bike that's just standard with this type of bike i think as far as uh, creature comforts go and technology and stuff it's a it's an old school basic bike you haven't got loads to worry about on that front it is just back to old school riding so you are just it's just man and machine you're not having modes and stuff dictating how much power you've got you've just got all the power all the time and that's your lot looks wise looks wise are always going to be a personal thing now i like the look of the bike the colors are very much the uh, the well will be the opinion splitter i think because they are kind of bright and lurry but a lot of sports bikes are so it's no different to that but it's just very it's very retro looking very 80s in the paint job so if you're from that era or you like that kind of era of taste if you like that kind of look then you'll like this bike because i said previously it just reminds me of that shell suit era where people were just putting colors that should never go together but everyone did it and everyone thought they were awesome and that was the 80s and this paint job's exactly the same green and red together is very different and i don't think the modern bikes would even think about it but it somehow works on this because of it being an older bike it kind of just fits the age and style of it so if you're an 80s child still got shell suit in the wardrobe put it on over your leathers and take this for a ride i hope you've got a mullet to match though pat sharp mullet and for those younger ones pat sharp if I can find a picture I'll put it on screen now because he epitomizes the 80s him and Weird Al Yankovic who I think is still in the 80s and just comes out every now and then on screen still looking like he's trapped in that time zone those two geezers would love this bike I'm gonna take this retro bike back to the shop if you're interested don't forget have a look in the description so that's going to do us i'm taking it back now i hope you've enjoyed the review if you have hit the like button if you're new to the channel you've never been before and you want to see just reviews of new bikes old bikes wacky bikes 50 cc's up to whatever no limits but if you want to see that kind of stuff then make sure you hit the subscribe button as well and come back and join me because there are new ones coming on every week i try and do two a week at least and if, if i'm having a good week of test rides i might even pop a third one on so make sure you come back for it and i will catch you guys later
goodbye for now.